I've been studying girls for, you know, 10, 20 years, and Lynn Michael Brown has um, uh, written on girls, and we got together to look at how marketers and the media are representing girls to girls. Are they represented with the great sort of diversity that they live and the un uniqueness of their personalities? And, of course, we know now that, no, we get the same stereotypes over and over. And one of those stereotypes has to do with this sexualization and that girls' um, main value comes from being pretty, not just nice. used to be just nice, good, nice little girls. Now it's about being pretty and uh, hot. This is a padded bra. Um, this is very small for the, um, a, a very tiny girl. And uh, uh, when asked uh, why the Bratz company was making padded bras, they called them bralettes for little girls, uh, they said that they were making them because little girls wanted to be discreet while they were developing. But if they wanted to be discreet, why are they wearing pretty little pink lace and little buttons. I mean, to me, this is like dressing up sexy. These, this is the kind of portrayal that parents are most worried about because, of course, she looks like a prostitute, right? With the, you know, with the big uh, boots and the belly shirt and the mini skirt. But this is like normalized dress now for girls. And we have, again, the hot pink color, which is a sexualized color. Yeah, we think that girls are bombarded with these images on a daily basis. We think that everywhere they turn, they're, be, uh, they're being hit with an image of, um, you know, this uh, sexualized, pretty and pink kind of um, girlhood. It's very stereotypical. This runs from stereotypes like girls love to shop to, um, you know, that girls really are all about crushing on boys. Oh, I love shopping. Now, why would girls want a little purse that says, I love shopping, right? Well, more now than ever, um, uh, kids do have money, and marketers are marketing to kids to spend their own money on products. And we saw that with this category called tweens. It's something that marketers made up to sell teen products to younger girls. And how they do that is they, um, they get a transitional item. So adult women might wear lipstick, and teenagers might wear lip gloss of varying shades, but a tween might wear cherry cola lip gloss. So you're combining something that's still a little girlish, and yet it's really introducing them to something they don't really need yet at all, so that you have a customer for life.